so guys back with an another video in the series of uh, tutorials and in this video we will be learning the next uh, most commonly used method in javascript that is called as match so guys this is a really really extremely important uh, uh, method and it has got a lot of significant in javascript so please stick on to the end of this video so that you will be fully understanding all of the scenarios and i will be explaining you all the cases and all the scenarios in the match method so let me begin with that and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i will be coming up with some uh, you know great uh, tutorials crash courses and all the programming related stuff and also hit that uh, bell button if uh, you, uh, so that you will be getting the notification when i come up with the new video so i'll just have the title of the page html page as match and i'll start with the script tag and over here i'll just begin with some uh, string object with new string over here and then i'll just say hi uh, hello and, and just say bye and this is a normal uh, random text which is a string and i'll just console it to the log for some kind of verification thing for uh, for learning the the next advanced concepts in match i'll just say print str so come back to the browser and here we are the string object which is in the form of zero base index and this is the string object so let me begin with the the method called as match so guys what if i do str dot match so what it does is it will take the parameter as a string so let me say hi and save this file and let me check what it is the output of that so as you can see guys it's printing in uh, something called as you know high index zero input this high hello by in group is undefined so th this is it guys it re it returns the match function returns an array as you can see the big brackets over here so it returns an array of all the matched uh, uh, string in the form of an array that's it so as you can see this high is index 0 so it's matching in the index 0 itself so high is matching with the index 0 so it's showing us in an index 0 in an array format so this is it all about the first case of scenario in math so let me begin with the next and also not just specifying this exact hardcore string we can also provide you know a regular expression like hello so if I just save this file and let me check the output as you can see guys it again printed you know an array so this method the function method you know the method called as match will return an array of all the match cases of this regular expression in this string as you can see it's uh, it's printing hello and index 3 the reason is because h starts from index 3 as we can confirm that over here which means h is in the index 3 right so this is it all about you know match with hard code of value matching and then the regular expression and also we can have you know multiple you know uh, more complex regular expression like you know hello again over here and then again if i just what if this third console this third match will do let me check with that as you can see this is it, it's showing me the same thing as we have got in the previous match right even though we have two hellos here, it's just printing the first index of, uh, you know, hello, right, which is three. So it's not at all matching with that. So let me explain it that over here in a moment. So if I want to match this hello text globally, which means in, in the entire text, not just the first occurrence, which we are getting over here, but the entire text. So how to match this regular expression to the entire string and get the array of that so if you if we want to get that we need to add a modifier called as g over here which means it's a global so this regular expression will be applying to the entire string and get all the matched cases in the form of an array so that is what this g tells us so i'll just save this and let's check the output now guys as you can see we are getting an array of two elements as you can see it's an array of two elements and we are getting all the hellos which are matched in the form of an array so this is it guys this is it all about the regular expression with the modifier and let me explain you the other modifier called as uh, you know instead of g 
let me explain you with some kind of uh, this thing i'll just make this as capital will this work now will this this input uh, work for this g now let me check with that as you can see here guys it's now started uh, sending me uh, a single object with single array right as you can see it's not at all matching even though i have given the globally but it is case sensitive so if i make you know if i i have any different uh, the word even though the word is same but the case are different right so it's matching with the cases as well so it's case sensitive matching so if i don't want or don't need any case sensitive matching i just want the word then i need to specify the modifier called as i which means case insensitive so we are uh, uh, you know backing off with the case uh, sensitive uh, matching here and it's now case insensitive which means this hello is one and the same with this hello so let me check with that so now guys as you can see it's printing me the the thing right so here we are guys this is it how it works in there but now notice here guys even though i have given i here it's not printing me the 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 two hellos uh, over here right so as you can notice here uh, uh, even it's not printing even though we have got two hellos it's just it's also matching with uh, case sensitive but it's not global right so this is global and uh, which we are getting over here as hello so in this entire text it's case sensitive and global and hence we are getting only one array here or one element in that array and now in this last uh, console.log over here even though it's a case insensitive it's not global right so it is also there so i'll just explain you that with a global case insensitive so now guys as you can see if i refresh the browser boom we got the thing right so now this gi tells us it's global and it's case sensitive insensitive i'm sorry case insensitive so if i just use i it's case insensitive so it's global case insensitive so now i'm getting all the things even though this hello is different from this hello it's case insens insensitive and here we are with all the things guys this is all about the the match method just go ahead and work with all the modifiers and uh, uh, string my hard code string matching and the regular expression you can also have a, a more complex regular expression and for this demonstration i'm just using this simple hello uh, no kind of uh, regular expression over here and i have explained you all about the modifiers in this uh, video so this is it all about it guys the match method in javascript and i hope that it helps you a lot and uh, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel and comment like and you can also have you know ask me some questions in the comment section below i will i will be ready to help you guys and make sure that you know the concept thoroughly and work accordingly so yes guys this is all about it the method match and see you in the next video